Yo, 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 yo. CTB, Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy Jay Slay. Send it up to him, man. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel growing. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. Most definitely, most definitely. This is the place where the boxing fans come to get these delicious entrees of boxing knowledge. What's on the menu for them today, bro? Let's talk about Tank Davis, man, and his out of the ring problems that he is facing currently. Yeah, man, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, you know how I feel, man. You know, I'm not the type of guy that like to uh, talk about these types of things. I'm more of a, I love to talk about the sport of boxing and not so much the boxer's personal life. But this is, this made headlines because this ain't the first time the Javante Davis name has been brought up in some type of negative light, which is kind of sad to say. But um, yeah, man, apparently he's been charged with 14 counts of hit and run. Um, for running through a red light and smashing someone's car and pretty much leaving the scene. Um, the man could possibly be facing seven years in prison, man, for for this a um, accident. And like I said before, man, I hate these types of news. We are a we are a boxing podcast, more so than a boxing news source, I would say. But sometimes we do have to give the news. So with that being said, what's your overall take of this bad news involving Javante Davis? I'm hoping, man, that this is a wake-up call for Davis. Um, he's had a lot of incidents over the last couple of years, and it's time for him to straighten up, man. I know he's getting a little bit older. He has some, um, some. Uh, I think he has one child, but a young, I know he had a younger child. I seen it on the TV show before his last fight on the pay-per-view. So you know, you got kids now, man, and you, you got a bright future, man. And, like. I understand where he come from and where you when you come from those circumstances, sometimes even when you get out of it, it still can kind of be in you. So I'm hoping, man, that he wakes up and um don't blow the opportunity because he's getting in the prime of his career also where he's about to make some big money. You know what I'm saying? He just got he's got his first pay-per-view. It seems like he done a good job on it, man. And he has, you know, you know, a low pass fight, a De a Devin Haney fight, a um Ryan Garcia fight maybe in the future. Maybe it's still a uh, Lomachenko fight in the future. So you got a lot of stuff, man. But I don't want I don't want to come up here one day on the show and say, man, what De where, uh, Tank Davis could have been, man, uh, if he had just stayed out of trouble. So I guess it's more of a podcast is saying, man, this. Not to bash the man or bring it down, because we all make mistakes. We all human. But, man, just, just straighten up, man. You got a great opportunity, man. Please don't blow it. Yeah, Mr. Stephanie, man, I agree with all of that, man. Uh, I knew about Tank Davis since he was probably maybe 20 years old, 18, 19 years old, uh, in Baltimore, in Baltimore. I actually seen him train in Baltimore one time before when he was younger. And the man's gifted, man. He's really, really gifted. Talent is above, man. Talent is out of this world, man. And I don't want to say it's bad luck so much if, if it, as it's being self-inflicted, but a lot of it is a little bit of both. It's both self-inflicted issues and bad luck. So, like, like you said, man, he his future is bright, man. The brightest has been like ever in his career, pretty much. His he, he's the pay-per-view. He's pretty much the pay-per-view champion of his weight division. He pretty much owns. His division when it comes to uh, sales and pay-per-view buys, so this can this can slow that down, man. Like you said, there's too many other killers in his division that can take that spot from him, man. So being out of the rain for a long stretch of time is not only bad for him in his prime, losing his prime, but it's bad for him in the immediate future when it comes to you know his belts and uh, mm -hmm. negotiating negotiating against those Devin Haney's and those. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The up-and-comers, the Lopez's, if they take your pay-per-view spot from you, then yep. what you what you work for. So, I mean, I, I just pray for the young man, man. I hope we get his life together, man. But, yeah. You got anything else you want to add to this topic? No, I think we covered it. Yep. Well, that's the channel. That's what we have here for you guys. This is CTB, Chin Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Say peace to him, man. All right, everybody, remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel growing. Tell your mother about it, your brother about it, your sister about it, your auntie about it.
tell your friend at work about it. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. But most of all, peace and love and we out of here.